So this is Christopher, the artistic director for Improv Patrol. And I'm going to share a story. And two of my actors are going to play the story back. <clears throat> so here's how the story goes. I decided that I wanted to do a commercial, a radio commercial for Improv Patrol. So I really like uh, this local radio station, and I wanted to choose them. So I Googled the radio station, and I called the number. The lady answers the phone, and she says, oh, well, you know, we are not that radio station. And I said, oh, okay. And she was like, we would really want your business. And I said, no, I'm sorry. I really want to go with this particular radio station because I like them and I know the demographics that they cover. She said, okay, well, here's their phone number. And when you call over there, ask to speak to this certain person. And I said, well, that's very nice of you that you would recommend someone, uh, you know, via your competitors. So I call over to the radio station and I ask for this person. And I tell her, I said, I'm interested in doing a radio commercial for Improv Patrol. And, you know, Christopher being Christopher, I wrote out the entire commercial already. And I said, I already have the commercial written out. I'll just email it to you and we'll go from there. So she sends me a proposal for the radio commercial. And the payment for the radio commercial was $1,400. And I noticed on the proposal she was only running the commercial for one week. So I call her up and I said, listen, why are you running the commercial just for one week? It doesn't make any sense. And she says, oh, everything is about consistency. And I said, Consistency is over a span of time, not one week. And she says, oh, no, trust me, I know what I'm doing. And I said, listen, if I spend $1,400 and my friends go on vacation for one week, guess what? They don't hear my freaking commercial, and I just dropped $1,400 on a commercial. I don't think this makes sense. And she says to me, oh, and I said, $1,400 should be about a month worth of commercials, not just one week. So you have to spread these commercials out. And I sent over the commercial, and she said, you have your phone number in the commercial. We don't ever put phone numbers in commercials. People are all about hearing about it. And I said, if there's no phone number in the commercial, how can they contact me? That's the whole purpose of this. Oh, we just don't do phone numbers. Well, I don't know what planet you're on, but you're going to do a phone number in my ad. So she says, okay, I will change the proposal. I will do it over about three and a half weeks, and I'll email it to you again for you to approve it. About three days go by, and I don't hear from her. All of a sudden, I get this email in my email box and it says congratulations your credit check has been approved so I almost flip backwards out of my desk in my office because I've realized this radio station has done a credit check so I'm livid I'm angry because I had full intentions of paying for the entire commercial up front so my credit score is perfect, and the number one way it gets ruined is by hard inquiries on your credit. So I call her up, and I said, why? And then you know what? Did you run a credit check? And she says, oh, well, I assumed that you wanted credit. You're supposed to ask. You don't make decisions. You were supposed to give me payment options. So to make a long story short, I spend two hours on the phone with the corporate office of this radio company trying to get them to cancel the credit check only to find out after two hours of being transferred all over the place from state to state the credit check had already went through congratulations Christopher you have credit I know that so I call her boss because I'm very angry and he says well you have patience so much patience I'm, I'm just so surprised you're still with us so he says, because of all of the problems that I've been through, 
he's going to give us free commercials. So not only do I get the commercial, the main commercial for Improv Patrol, but I also get an additional 15 second commercial to announce every sh public show that we're doing. And we get two interviews on the radio station and they're going to promote my YouTube channel and they're going to promote our YouTube, uh, our Facebook page. So the moral of the story is, if you practice patience and don't kill anyone, sometimes you get this great blessing. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is, I'm going to have Aaron, I'm going to have you to play me. And one sentence for me, we usually do one word, but one sentence for me is, I just want my commercial. That's all I ask for. And Anne, I'm going to have you <laughs> <laughs> to do a reenactment of the very disconnected salesperson who obviously doesn't know anything about sales. <laughs> Let's watch. <coughs> so at this particular time, in a playback theater performance, the playback actors will go and they will choose different scenarios of dress in order to reenact the playback scene. During this period of time, a musician will be playing setup music. Now, the playback actors do not discuss what they're going to do in the performance. They leave it up to all improvisational theater. Now that the playback actors have their costumes, they will now come on the stage and reenact the story. Let's watch. It's a good price. It's yeah. 1400 It's consistently for a whole week. Yeah, uh, it's great. Consistent 
consistency is over a long period of time. What if I have friends that I want to hear it and they're gone for a week, you know, and they're on vacation, they're going to miss the whole thing. Well, you need to spread it out. It's, well, con consistent over one week. Yeah, no, when no. you want? No, okay. All right, well, you know what? I will work it out for you and rate. <laughs> Maybe do three weeks for you in a month. Okay? Yeah. All right, all right. You know what? Let me get back to you. And um, I, you know what? I'll email you everything I find, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I'm saying not that long. I'm going to do a credit check because obviously he's not going to be paying the money for that. So let me just do a credit check and set this off. And oh, he'll be happy now because he can do three weeks and he can actually pay for it over time. Okay. Then. Congratulations. Your credit check. My credit check? Are you kidding? I don't have credit. credit. Who would do this? this? This will mess up my credit score. Oh, the stupid radio station. <laughs> really? All right. <clears throat> ring, ring. Oh, for goodness sakes. Yes. <laughs> Margaret? Yeah. Hi. Hi. You're happy, right? You, your credit check. Everything is great. Happy. Cannot describe how I feel about you, Margaret. All right. So, um, <clears throat> did you do a credit check? Oh, yeah, of course. Of course I did. I went. It was great. It was great. It was great. It was awesome. When did I agree to do that? Um, you didn't have to agree. I mean, I'm assuming fourteen hundred dollars, and then you're doing thir three weeks. Did we discuss the payment options? Did oh, we go right. I was going to up front. This is ridiculous. I need to speak to you. Uh, well, let's see if I can find him. Hang on a second. <clears throat> um, Joe, <laughs> you want to talk to this wonderful person on the phone? Okay. Hello. Hi. Hi. My name is Christopher, and I've been trying to set up um, a uh, plan with you guys. Oh, for some yeah. Time. What's going on? Absolutely ridiculous what I've had to deal with with Margaret. Um, oh, Margaret. Well, Margaret, we're having a problem with Margaret. So we're going to have to. What happened? What exactly uh, happened? <clears throat> okay, so first of all, she wanted to air all the commercials in one week, which is absolutely uh, ridiculous. Okay. And, okay. oh, and then she also called me too. This happened a little earlier with, uh, with you know, I didn't have a phone number. And, uh, oh, she oh, phone okay. Number into the commercial. Okay. And she, well, she, okay. We usually don't do that. And I, you know, I understand. So, you know, You've been really patient. I, I heard you talking to me a few times, darling. Oh, uh, and then she did a credit check without oh, even asking. Oh, yeah. And that pushed yeah. me over the edge. You well, have very good credit, and, and a hard credit check can mess it up. Right, right. No, I completely understand. You know, I appreciate, I appreciate your business, and and I appreciate you dealing with this. And I understand we've had a couple of issues. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a great thing for you. Right. I'm going to give you some free things, I'm going to give you free commercials, and um, I see here that you're doing like an improv show too, is right. that what you're doing commercials? Right. We're going to do commercials and YouTubes, and we're going to give you a lot, because we want to keep your business, mm -hmm. and we want you to refer us to other people, so you're going to get all this free, and you're going to benefit from it, and does that make you happy? I guess, I guess that's, <clears throat> I guess that's good. I, I appreciate okay. you doing that. Um, yeah, because that's really patient. We can patient. get all those things. Sure. But, you know, I'm still going to have to speak to another supervisor or someone in corporate about um, taking care of, you know, not putting through the credit check. Okay. But I appreciate uh -huh. all those offers, and that's good, and we'll, we'll take, take that. Great. And that's something. So I don't know if you need to put me to someone above you. Um, you know, I'll put you through uh, to the corporate, and you can see about that credit right. check. Okay? okay? Thanks. All right. Two hours later. I'm still on the phone with you guys? This is, oh, so it's gone through? Congratulations to me. Thanks. Thanks for nothing. All right. Well, you know what? Let me just think about this, and I did, you know, I did get some good things out of this, and I did deal with with Margaret, and the stress of everything else. I couldn't get my credit check fixed, but I did get a lot of different options. I got to announce when the company is going to be on air for 15 seconds, and I get the Facebook advertisements and the YouTube channel advertisements, and a couple, two free, you know, commercials where we can come down there to interview. So it's all right, you know. It was a little stressful, but things worked out as they should.